I was 14 years old. I never really heard that word before. My hero's demise, the 8th of April, 1994. The class numbed days in a haze of a suffocating silence. And when I look back, I wonder did Ireland ever have a chance to take a breath? And I'm not sure where my sense of bravery came from that day as I asked a brother, why? Why? A cocktail of confusion, fever and fear disorientated my better judgement, I suppose. Slam! His fist almost breaks the desk in two. A coward, he screamed. A voice that was all too familiar with rage and too familiar with pain, too. Censored by history, we were forced to inhibit. I watched as this man broke our teen spirit. And that was my mental health education. And you know, it's funny. The thing I needed to learn the most was a shadow, a ghost, hiding in the darkness, just a butt of a joke. Your ma's up in St. Norman's, your dad's a mad joke. And I thought I was possessed by the devil. A viable option in the 90s in these lands. My mother's encyclopedia of health. Paradise lost in these hands. Asthma. Page 42. That's it. That's what's wrong with me. But the doctor said the tests were clear. It's just puberty. So a veil and mass disguise reality and camouflage disease in this body of an athlete. Then two weeks in June. Those two weeks in June. I'm still haunted by the absence of Yates, cold sweat wake-ups in Oxbow Lakes. A Shakespeare tragedy wrapped up in a points race. But at least we knew it was happening. Surely there's a better way. And if I met myself back then, I often think, what would I say? Probably the words I'm going to say right now, today. And you know something? It's never too late. Cracks exist within us all, imperfectly designed and fallible, but there's a shared humanity in that, something that connects us all, and connections where the heart, mind and soul meet. You are not fighting on your own, so don't admit defeat or avoid things that make you uncomfortable. The bite is never worse than the bark, and you know what? Sometimes we see more in the dark, for we're not blinded by the glow of our ego. What doesn't serve you, just let it go. Embrace the rawness of wild youth. Listen to your gut, it knows the truth. And in a world where fiction soul is fact, let it be the compass that guides you. Because you will get lost. We all get lost. And when you do, let your values find you. For what you stand for will always stand beside you. Don't value the valueless, empower the powerless. Don't judge those with less. For equality is not just a word, it's a mindset. A principle of our proclamation that we sometimes forget. And not everyone's intention is to hurt you. Look past their behaviours and words, maybe they were hurt too. And not everyone's intention is to offend you. Allow them space to to grow, we all learn at our own pace, even if that sometimes frustrates you. And righteous anger is a gift. It can drive change and unite without a stone or a fist, but misguided anger is a toxic energy designed to distract us from the real enemy. And life doesn't always have to be binary. Divide and conquer reckless rivalry. Find a place where you can debate your differences respectfully. And when it comes to love, you will put up defences. The collateral damage of suffering has its consequences, but drop your guard, disarm, call a ceasefire on this war that in truth only causes harm. But the peace starts with you, and that journey is tough. Narcissism when you think you're too much, and compassion when you think you are enough. And you are enough, just as you are. Say that yourself every single day, put it in your repertoire, and ask yourself, what are the attitudes of a good friend? And more importantly, how can I direct those attitudes within? For carrying shame will make you weary, and more often than not, it's not your way to carry. A dark past doesn't have to shadow a future. Mistakes gone before can be our best teacher, but we need to learn. Honour that legacy so we never return. And a power exists within us all. Use your voice, make that call and nearly 27 years on from that fateful day, 27 years gone at just 27 years of age I can still feel that pain, but I wonder what's changed. I see a generation now who can finally destroy the stigma that did its very best to destroy my generation and more. Let's not pass on that baton anymore. From grandfather to father and those that came before and it's not like you owe us a lot you're inheriting a world that's wounded and fraught but it's time to heal that now the snowflake generation just a label used by a damaged and broken nation but piece by piece each fragment will treasure create a whole and piece them together a paradigm shift a new evolution no longer dismissed a moral revolution be the change you want to see see the change you want to be and in this republic in this democracy we're no longer censored by history. It's time to exhibit. A new Ireland now. 
led by your teen spirit.